Okay, the fact that Rihanna's show was supposed to be a keystone for inclusion, that's a big theme in Rihanna's lingerie lines. She uses plus-size women. She's even featured hijabi women in her lingerie campaigns before, um, mm. disabled women, um, drag queens, which we'll get into, um, trans women. Um, so it's supposed to be a keystone for inclusion while she completely alienated the Muslim community by disrespecting a Hadith citation. recitation is the perfect so showcase of how fashion brands and the media have never considered us part of her, their audience. Which the fact that these people local. think that Rihanna goes over like, like is involved in like, okay, let me look at the music selection. Oh, what is this background noise that I'm hearing? Oh, wait, like, can I do like some research about where this, the fact that they think that she must, she's must be involved in all of that process. She, like to me, makes me think like these people are just idiots. She definitely is. Who? Rihanna. She's the creative director of like almost. No, but do you think like she has, she goes and picks everything? damn like it. she huh pretty close yeah oh, okay no based mind on that. my familiarity with how she structures yeah her. but she does okay okay let me rephrase that question do you think that she knowingly went and picked a hadith no okay that's what i mean okay, okay. like because they're saying like look at this okay mm -hmm. okay the fact that rihanna's show was supposed to be a keynote for inclusion while she completely alienated the muslim community alienated the muslim community that would involve her like Saying like, hey, I know this is Islamic, sacred Islamic scripture, but I don't care. Let's include it in this song anyways. Like that would be the, that's what you would think, right? Like what are the chances that she had no idea that this is Islamic Hadith? Like I think it's pretty high. It's right? very high. She probably was like, oh, this Arabic this is... sounds awesome. I can. I think she might have here. not even known it was Arabic. It's just foreign, so foreign sounding something. Um. Okay, more more reactions. I can't let Rihanna have a pass with appropriating Islam. Like, for her first show, the models wore a scarf around their heads, and it looked like hijab. It was supposed to be hijab. In her second show, she used a track that remixed a hadith. Why is no one talking about this? My religion is not y'all's aesthetic. Um, <laughs> well, I mean, your religion doesn't have copy. It has not been trademarked mm -hmm. or copyrighted. So you can't you can say my religion, but sue 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 us. I mean, if I use your religion for aesthetic purposes, like what are you gonna do? I mean, it's okay. Here's the thing: it says my religion is not your all's aesthetic. Per, your your all's aesthetic. But what if it is? What if I want it to be? Right? What if I want it to be? So your religion for you is a guide to life. For me, it's just aesthetic. What it's so funny because, like, appropriating Islam, like, Islam, like, colonizes and forces, like, oh, seventh yeah. century Arab aesthetic. Oh, yeah, that's actually wow, very good point. Very good <laughs> point. Yeah, I mean, what based on like what laws or standards they're going to use to say my religion, like, my religion, show me, show me, give me, show me the documents that, that you own this, but this is the one, the prophet. Sallallahu alayhi curse effeminate curse effeminate men and uh, those men who are in what how do you say this? Similitude. Similitude, assume the manners of women, uh, and those women who assume the manners of men, and he said, Turn them out of your houses. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi turned out such and such men, and Omar turned out such and such woman. Right? So he didn't just say it was bad. He cursed them. Mm -hmm. So this could be mostly talking about, depending on your interpretation, this could be drag queens or trans people, right? So or I don't know. If, men, or both. Gay feminine or men. Gay feminine men as well, or yeah. Or women. Or, I mean, I've, I'm pretty sure Prophet Muhammad has considered all of them to be the same anyways, right? Yeah. But so there's that. But yeah, I mean, look, uh, all these people are saying, oh, sorry for disrespecting your religion, your great religion, we, because we just use the part of the hadith. But look, this is the, res this is the religion that you're sorry that you disrespected. Mm -hmm. This religion should be disrespected. This religion that teaches this, this is the hadith. 
Do you remember how those people in the tweet saying, "Oh, hadith is so it's so sacred. You don't you don't have you don't get to use it in your song. You know, like this is what they're talking about. This is part of that same hadith. I mean, this is not the hadith that was used in the song, but it, it is Bukhari. It was mm -hmm. from Buh that was from Bukhari, Sahih Bukhari, right? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, we're gonna so, get into the hadith that was used in the song in a second. Yeah, I know, but it was Bukhari, right? Mm -hmm. It was. Yeah, so this is also Bukhari. This is from the same book. Mm -hmm. So this is the thing that people are showing. So first of all, the song did not disrespect the hadith. It just used it. Second of all, it should disrespect the hadith. <laughs> it didn't, but it should. I think right? what they found disrespectful to the hadith was the fact that there are men versus women in laundry dancing to it and women barely covered dancing to it. That's where the disrespect came in.